Hey everyone, it's Simon from Higher Plane Games with a review of Game Soup. This micro game collection is available on PC from the 12th of February 2019, and thanks to the developer for sending me across a, across a copy to take a look at. Uh, it's from Game Soup, who run a YouTube channel, and it's their second game. They generally do indie and retro gaming news as alongside game analysis, so if you fancy the sound of that, go and check out their YouTube channel too. Uh, the game itself, though, is right up my street. It is. Bishy Bashy Special, crossed with McPixel, crossed with WarioWare, uh, and those type of games where the games are so, so short that they're done within like five to ten seconds, and then you're on to the next one immediately, practically. Uh, the game is set up like you're in Yo Sushi, but it's just Yo Soupy, I guess, <laughs> um, because it's just bowls of soup coming towards you, and then inside the soup is a new mini game. Now, it could be like a pretend Sonic game, or a, a little bit of like a, a, a send up of Mario. There were Space Invaders in there. Um, there's stuff taken from like RPGs where you're just going in and taking someone's dosh or smashing up their vases in their basement. There's a real variety of stuff, um, like driving games, but it's not driving, you just have to crash into things, <laughs> that kind of stuff. And it's very simple and you just, you're told what to do and you have to do it as quickly as possible. There's no particular like um, precise judgement in what you're doing, you just have to quick get it done and get it done quickly. Um, but I love the way how it's so referential around gaming culture and gaming tropes and just the general way how you feel about games. It's trying to upset the balance, which is why I kind of throw in McPixel into this kind of thought process of what I think the game is about. Now there's 46 challenges for you to do. You've got four lives in which to do them. Now the control scheme changes each time that you do this and whilst the games actually handle very well there's a couple of mini games that I still don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing and so I wished that if there is a chance for a future update on the game that when the game soup comes in to tell you that the next level is about to start if there could be a button that could let me see what the controls are going to be for the upcoming mini game, that would be really, really helpful. Because there's one that's doing a parody of The Ring, where you're like um, a really greasy haired girl trapped in a TV, and it just goes haunt! And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just mashing the buttons, and it seems to be doing something, but I've got no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, and I always fail that level. That's fine, but when you're trying to do 46 challenges in a row with four lives, and that's your last one, and you're on challenge 42, you want to scream and it doesn't feel fair. <laughs> the other thing that's worthwhile mentioning, um, because it will kind of be potentially a deal breaker for some people I think, is that this is a single player experience only. There is no multiplayer aspect to this at all and I think that's missing a trick because Bishy Bashy Special is one of my all time favourite games that does very similar stuff to this but allows you to have two to three people playing it locally. This doesn't need or want or warrant online multiplayer, but to have a couple of mates doing the same stuff and like squash the screen down so that um, each one is then of there for a multiplayer game would have elevated this game from a I think you might like this if this is your type of humour go grab it to a you need this in your collection now and get the beers in people type of game. So it kind of hovers around there for me, Game Soup does, because actually I had really good fun playing this game. I've still not managed to get all 46 challenges, but my god, I'm going to do it very shortly. <laughs> but um, without that multiplayer aspect to it, unfortunately, and it's one of the very few times that I'll say this, it's lacking without its multiplayer. And um, yeah, I wished it was there. However, what is here is fantastic. If it's up your street, I recommend it. it comes out on Tuesday. So thanks for watching, you guys take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye! This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time, and for watching the video.